Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome. I'm Father Jim King, and today we're going to talk about the meaning of preparation in the Holy Orthodox Church. Because as Orthodox Christians, we always seem to be preparing for something. We're either preparing to celebrate for a great feast, like Christmas, the birth of Jesus, or Easter, the death and resurrection of Jesus, or we're preparing to celebrate the feast day of very special people in our church called saints, like Saint Peter and Paul, or Saint Mary, the Theotokos, the mother of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Or we're preparing each week to celebrate the Divine Liturgy, where we enter into Christ's heavenly banquet and meet our Lord face to face when we receive Holy Communion together. We're always preparing. In this month, beginning on February 21st, we begin another time of preparation. This time, it's the preparation for Great and Holy Lent, Siam El Kabir, which begins on March 15th of this year, a day which is referred to as Clean Monday. It's a time where every week leading up to Great Lent has a very unique theme attached to it. Themes that are meant to help us in our spiritual growth as Christians. Themes that help us to reflect on our own lives and begin the process of transformation to make our lives better and more Christ-like. These themes coincide with the Gospel readings for each week. The first Sunday, on February 21st, we hear the parable of the publican and Pharisee, about two men who went to the temple one day to pray. One was a man of faith and religious discipline called the Pharisee. The other was a tax collector who cheated people for a living called the publican. The first man, the Pharisee, boasted before God, reminding God about how good of a person he was and how thankful he was that he was not like the wicked tax collector. But the Gospel says that God condemned him for his arrogance. The other man, the tax collector, who really led a sinful life, prayed much differently on that day. The Gospel says that he presented himself before God not arrogantly, like the Pharisee, but humbly, bowing his head in shame and beating his chest and saying over and over again, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. We know this prayer today as the Jesus Prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. The second Sunday, on February 28th, we hear the parable of the prodigal son, about a man who selfishly left his home, demanding an early inheritance from his father, and who led a very immoral and corrupt way of life until he wasted all his money and lost his dignity as a human being. But it says that the man eventually came to his senses and saw the error of his ways, and that in humility he decided to return to his father's house and ask for his forgiveness. And it says that the father received back his son with great joy and forgiving all that he had done. Because although his son was lost to the wicked ways of this world, now he is found and is back in the comfort and love of his father's house. So the theme for the second week of preparation for Great Lent is repentance and forgiveness. We are called as Christians to recognize the error of our own ways when we make poor choices and fall away from what is right. And we are called to not be afraid to ask forgiveness when we need it. And to make every effort to return back to living a righteous and godly way of life. The third Sunday, on March 7th, we hear the parable of the Last Judgment where we are reminded that it's not enough for us to practice humility, to repent, and to come home to God as His prodigal sons, but we must also be His children by following the example of Jesus. 
God's only begotten divine Son. And that we need to see Jesus in every living human being, serving Christ through them, because our salvation and final judgment will depend upon our deeds, not merely on our intentions or even on the mercies of God, apart from our own personal cooperation with Him and our obedience to Him. The Gospel says, For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick and in prison, and you visited me. For truly I say to you, if you did it to one of the least of my brothers, you did it to me. It's called the Sunday of Last Judgment. And it's also called Meat Fair Sunday because it's the last day that we will not meet until Easter, celebrated on May 2nd. So the theme for this Sunday is the Sunday of the Judgment of Jesus Christ at His Second Coming. We are called as Christians to see Christ in everyone that we meet and to serve our fellow men by bringing the love of Jesus Christ to them in their time of need. Because according to this gospel, we are not saved only by our practice of prayer and fasting alone, but also by faithfully serving Jesus Christ through the practice of serving and caring for others who are all the children of God. The fourth Sunday on March 14th is called Forgiveness Sunday. It's also called the Sunday of Cheese Fair because it's the last day as Orthodox Christians that will eat cheese or dairy throughout Great Lent until Great and Holy Pascha. And in the Gospel lesson for this day, we hear the words of Jesus teaching us that for if you forgive men their trespasses, your Heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. So the theme for this week is obviously showing forgiveness towards others. Our goal is to enter into the season of Great Lent by forgiving one another so that God will also forgive us. So dear brothers and sisters in Christ, our focus as Christians and as human beings is to reflect as best we can the life of Jesus Christ to the world around us and to fill our lives with godly virtues like faith, like hope, like love, generosity, humility, and patience. Virtues that edify others around us and virtues that don't tear down or belittle others around us. So this is our goal as Orthodox Christians. And this is the goal that we begin to reflect on as we begin the countdown to great and holy Lent. So may God bless you always, and may this time of preparation before great Lent be a time of spiritual growth and maturity for you, both as a Christian and as a human being. And may God send his holy angels upon you to guide you and to protect you.